hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's me lex and today i'm going to be showing you guys how i edit my photos like a pro with photoshop express all on my iphone so if you guys are ready to learn let's get into it All right, guys, I'm going to be clicking on the Adobe Photoshop Express app in my phone and showing you guys how I use this app to edit my photos. So first, you're going to find the photo that you want to edit, and you can locate all your photos under the bar that says Edit Photos. I actually wanted to see my pictures um, bigger, so I went to edit more photos so that I can see different ones. And then I ended up changing my mind on the one that I wanted to edit and clicked on another one. So once the photo comes up that you want to edit, what you're gonna do is go to selection tools. And this was a lot, will allow you to select the full image, to set, select the subject or select the background image. And you can start working on whichever one you want first. I always like to choose subject. And here I am um, changing some of the lighting of that photo. And in changing the lighting, I'm pretty much playing around with the different tools to see um, what I want to achieve in this photo. I want to brighten the color and I want it to appear as if the sun is shining on me very heavily. So I'm changing the clarity of the photos so that it will come brighter and I'm going to be changing some of the lighting effects on my face and creating less shadows to show you all the look that I am going for so that I can get this photo to look as perfect that I want it to be. So you have so many options here. You can change the color, you can change the shadows, the, the highlight and the balancing on each photo and each different feature allows something different to come to that picture. So as you're trying out different things or moving different things, you'll start to understand how you like your photos to look and then you'll be able to choose that thing like naturally. So here I'm going to get rid of a few blemishes, which I actually clicked on the wrong thing. Be very careful to select exactly the, the point that you want to get rid of so that you don't distort your picture. I'm going to be getting rid of a few pimples and just little um, and little texture on my skin because I want this photo to come out super smooth. And you're going to do that at the heel. Once you press heel, it'll allow you to go in and do that. And you can slide from basic to advanced to change the different size of the brush in which you're tapping on. So after that, I'm just going in to see some different blemishes or things that I can change. And I actually noticed that my face had a little sweat on it in this picture, but I'll just decide to go forth with it because I really like this photo. Now that I've gotten that, I'm still playing with the lighting and the white balance in this picture. And you'll realize that each function does something that will change and alter the lighting of the picture and also note that I'm still working on the subject so the only thing that is actually changing is the appearance of me and it's not actually changing the flowers or the background that's behind me right now And also guys, when you are editing your photos, just take your time and really get it to how you want it. In the beginning, it might not look perfect, but then you'll just keep doing it until you like it. So 
so now I'm finally changing to the background and I'm not doing too much to the background because I love the way it looks I just want to brighten it up with the saturation and um, change a few little things about it just to, to bring the vibrance of the photo up And also, I just changed the vibrance of the entire photo. That's something that you can only do on the photo in its entirety. You cannot change the vibrance of just the background or the foreground in this app. You'll only be able to use the vibrance in certain other features only with the whole, the whole picture, which is why I got that pop up. As you can see, I'm changing the temperature of the photo, which will allow the sun and the light to hit my skin differently. And I'm still just going through and tweaking it, as you can see while I'm sharing my screen. Also, while I use this app, I mainly work in the adjustments area there is an area in the beginning where you can use different filters to give you the look that you want and you can change different things uh, such as your eyes and even crop your photos. But I mainly work with the adjustments because I usually take my time to capture the photo that I want so that I don't have to do too much tedious editing on it. This took me about 10 minutes to edit so I'm very happy with the short amount of editing time. If you put more effort into taking your photos and getting clear and crisp photos, you won't have to worry so much as editing out so many blemishes. Also, the way that you want your pictures to come out is totally according to you. Photography is an art, and it is something that is subjective to everyone. Your photos don't have to look exactly like mine, and just because your photos don't look like mine does not mean that you're not doing it right. It just means that you have your own special way and your own special type of way that you want to display your art. So always just tweak your photo until it gets into the way that you want it to look so I'm going to save it and I'm clicking the watermark because I always like to put a watermark on my photos and opac opacity changes the darkness of that watermark and size obviously changes the size of it you can put anything in your watermark say you are a photographer or some type of brand that you want to brand on that screen that's a perfect place to put your brand there and then you can just go to camera roll and save it. And that'll save the photo as you have edited. it. I personally was not all the way satisfied. So I went back to continue editing this photo because it just didn't give me what I wanted. So I went back to the subject and I wanted to still brighten up my skin, but allow myself to be, um, more vibrant so i went back to do some more editing on the balance and the lighting of that photo as you can see and i edit fade on it fade can sometimes make the picture look a little bit hazy and maybe that's the look that i was going for but it's all just in practice, 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 practice. The more you keep practicing with photos, you will eventually get to a place where you know exactly how you want your photos to look.
don't rush. Take your time and just be confident in what your vision is because sometimes when you first edit a photo, it's not gonna be exactly what you want, but you can always go back and see different things and get that photo perfect. Like I went ahead and saved it because I felt like it was perfect. So I'm gonna show you guys, this is what the photo looked like before. And this is what the photo looks like after I edited it. Love it, love how it came out. And I hope I was able to help some of you all with this video and learning how to use the Photoshop Express app on your phone. So if anything that I did helped you with your own journey, please make sure to like this video and comment down below and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading more videos to help each and every one of you. Thanks for watching.